Hi, this is Jessica with Dining Traveler and welcome to the Dining Traveler cooking series where we try dishes from our favorite destinations and I'm shooting at 10K Hill South, this gorgeous apartment in Washington, D.C. And I'm doing something from one of my neighboring countries, from the Dominican Republic, yeah. and I'm with a good friend. Daniela Senor, who is the CEO of Colada Shop, and I call her my cocktail maker extraordinaire. So, <laughs> what are we making today? Today we're making Morir Soñando, which is death by dreaming. It is a very traditional drink from the Dominican Republic, and I grew up drinking this during the hot summers. It is absolutely delicious and refreshing. So let's get started. Let's do it. So these are very simple ingredients that you can find in your pantry. So a little bit of uh, sugar. I like to use more of a medium uh, brown sugar. Uh, evaporated milk, which at least is a staple in my pantry. Um, a little bit of uh, chinola juice, which is also known as passion fruit, and freshly squeezed orange juice. Freshly squeezed is a must in this recipe. Um, honestly, just like pasteurized, just will not give you the flavor that we're looking for. It's a very simple drink, but freshness is key here. And of course, a little bit of ice to cool it down and blend it for a very refreshing and smooth drink. And you know what I love? You said chinola. And throughout Latin America, passion fruit is known as parcha, maracuya, chinola. I don't know. Do you know any other ones? But I feel like there's like 12 different names. Parchita in Venezuela. Parchita. Yeah, it's like it has so many names. And that's what I feel is so beautiful about like Latin America and the Caribbean. Like a lot of people tend to group it, but in reality, it's like we're all so unique and even how we call the ingredients. So I, I love to figure out how people call each ingredient in, in different countries, even though we're all Spanish speaking. Yeah, and I find it like so much fun when people are like, no, but it, we say like this in my country and like that in my country. I don't know, I just find, I, I love learning like these new recipes from, from our country. So yeah. yes, let's do it, let's blend. Let's do it. I'm gonna start with our evaporated milk. I've used a whole can here. Um, and how we build this drink, it is very important. You also want to make sure that all the ingredients are cold, especially if you're not blending it. You can also uh, serve this uh, just over ice, but the milk would go first. And then the sugar. So I recommend that you taste your orange juice and passion fruit and determine how sweet or not and how sweet you like things. So here we have a quarter cup. Um, I'm going to probably use most of this because the uh, passion fruit or chinola is uh, very tart in this case but make sure that depending on the ripeness of that fruit you adjust at the sweetness level then we're actually going to add our ice so roughly about a cup and a, and a half after the ice we want to add our acid which is going to be in this case our orange juice and we're going to finalize it with our um, parchita or chinola we want to make sure that the acid components are at the end as they might curdle your milk so we have to kind of work quickly here now we're going to blend all of our ingredients if you want to go ahead and add rum now is the time i like to pulse it especially at the beginning i feel like it breaks down the ice a little bit better so kind of get those first blends in and then towards the like last um, uh, blend uh, session just kind of let it run a little bit longer so as important as a drink you have to make it beautiful right it's like a making it appealing here I've brought a little bit of a charm from Dominican Republic that we use at the carnival so it's a mini mask so they're really fun and cute so we're gonna also garnish our drink with some freshly sliced oranges and dehydrated limes and a little bit of mint and we actually call this in Puerto Rico Vigigantes. Oh. And it's so funny that we're so close, like, you know, just a little, El Canal de la Mona, the yeah. Mona channel separates Puerto Rico from La República Dominicana, Dominican Republic, but we call things totally different names. I know. It's totally and it's actually, at one point in Puerto Rico, you can actually see, like, Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. So we're very close, like, yes. yeah. So yeah. it's... But, and you know, we were both colonized by the Spanish, have a very, very similar ingredients, but you know, the culture shifts and you know, we're all unique. Cool, so we're gonna line our glass with our orange, kind of keeping it to the side there. So it's like standing up and we're gonna pour in. We want to put the mint in the center. That way, when people are bringing it up to their noses, you get that refreshness of the mint as well. So Jessica, you need to let me know what you think. Okay. 
I hope you like it as much as I do. It's so good and it makes me want to be at a beach in the Republica Dominicana. Yes. It's nice and refreshing and I love that touch of the barcha or maracuja or passion fruit, whatever you guys call it, <laughs> chinola. Chinola, in, yes. Chinola in the Dominican Republic. And for those who are in the DC area, if you are coming to visit, you have to check out Colada Shop. And you have how many locations? We currently have three. We have one opening at the end of August in Fairfax, Virginia. So please check us out. And they are so cute. And I'm not saying this because Daniela <laughs> is my friend, but I love going there. They have like the cutest branding, nice cocktails, and it's just like a really nice vibe. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let us know if you have any questions, feedback in the comments, and salud. Salud. Bye. Gracias.